All right, welcome back to Tiddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to be trying to fix our uh, colossal mistake of uh, tipping this truck over right before we uh, got to our goal. Well, not really right before we got to the goal, but we still tipped it over and it's annoying. So, uh, let's go ahead and activate the crane. We're gonna go into crane mode. And last time, yeah, this was all screwed up. I don't know what was going on, but it was not letting me pick any points. So we're going to try to nope. I think we're going to have to uh, just use the muscle of the truck to pull us and Better yet, we're going to use the crane on. Oops. No, I don't want that part of the truck. I want the other part. I want the high side, not the low side. Um. Oh, yeah. Let's try that. There we go. Come on. Okay, let's uh, go into low gear. Low reverse, I should say. Come on. I've got the crane, so if we lose any of the cargo, which we did. Now, what are you doing, truck? Okay, let's let's get in. Yeah, let's change the trucks. Let's get this down the hill. All right, so this is a nice safe. Never mind. Okay, this is a nice safe spot. Let's go ahead and stop the engine. Uh, can we change the trucks? No, we're too far away. Uh, Fleet Star, there you are. All right, Mr. Fleet Star. I'm actually going to go. Let's go get that last bag of concrete that we need from down here. And then I wonder if... No, there's nothing else that we would need down here. Uh, I don't know why I'm using my controller. Let's use the wheel. Yep, everything seems to be working on the wheel. Oh. There we go. Wow. That was, um, that was a very sloppy, <laughs> very, very sloppy end to that road there. All right, well, let's grab, I'm just going to grab the one. Uh, is it cement? Yeah, it is cement. Okay, so we're going to leave that one there. Floor it. Now we're going to head back up this trail. Come on. Uh. Ooh, that was a grinding noise. Go head up this trail. Should be nice and sloppy now. Might as well turn on the diff lock because we're having a little bit of an issue with traction. 
And now we're gonna have even more issues with traction. <clears throat> Working pretty good. And then we are going to try not to tip over. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Did I learn nothing? Okay. Let's, uh, can we pack? Uh, won't let me pack the cargo. Okay, that's fine. Let's activate the crane. Oh! Almost. It almost. Okay. Let's see if we can, uh... It's not going to roll us. All right. Well, we're in a bit of a predicament. Uh, let's go back to the MK. We are going to detach trailer. Probably not the best spot to detach, but it's fine. None of that is packed either, so I gotta be careful with that. Let's just grab it and yank it down. That did a pretty decent job. Oops. And then let's, uh... Jump back in that truck. And I don't think this uh, update did this game any favors. Okay, so let's pack that car. Go. Let's restore the train. Nope, restore the crane. And then we are actually going to go down the hill. We're going to hit the trailer for fun. <laughs> We're going to unpack the cargo, go into crane mode. We're going to pick this up. Come on, really? Okay, apparently the, the cable itself isn't strong enough to... We're gonna drop that in there. We're gonna restore the crane. We're gonna get the Fleet Star out of the way. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna take it straight up the hill again. Park it right there. We're gonna activate the anchors. I don't even know if the anchors do anything, but we're gonna say they do. We're gonna pick this up. And try to get it to rotate. Okay. 
There we go. And we're going to drop it on the bed. Let's restore the crane. I don't know why I'm announcing everything as I do it. <laughs> Let me know if you guys find that annoying. I'll try to stop it. And then, yeah, we're going to uh, bring the small pipes with this truck. We're going to change the MK. MK is going to roll some coal. Nope. Seriously. Come on. Whatever you do, don't tip this trailer over. Oh. Also, if I could stop damaging everything, that would be great. Attach the trailer. Pack the cargo. Ah, oh, so important. And uh, let's attach the winch. Oh, we're just outside. And I think we're off. Nope. Close, close the menu. Now we're off. We're finally underway. That took about 15 minutes of wasting my time oh. to uh, get that situated. I feel like I'm going super slow for some reason. Hmm. Anyways. Go up the hill. Uh, let's see, where are we? You know what? We could go here and then here. So we'll go, we're going to go left this time instead of going right. Like, I feel like somebody's parking brakes on. Why just that heavy? Maybe I'm just that heavy. Alright, so let's go left here. Full lock. Come on. Apparently, yeah, the turning radius on this truck is absolutely horrible. Come on. Like, am I too close with the winch? Try that, see if that helps fix anything. Definitely doesn't fix the turning radius, for sure. It's like I don't even have a turning radius. 
This truck's like, what's the turning radius? I've never heard of one of those before. All right. We should be good now. Home, home free. There's our marker telling us where we need to drop off these goodies. And I still feel like we're just crawling. My transmission isn't broken. Um, yeah, what am I doing? We're <laughs> literally about to pass the gas station without getting any gas. It's not, not the smartest thing I've ever not done. Alright, so let's... Let's fill up. We're gonna skip the truck behind us. The fleet star should be okay. And actually, once the fleet star gets to the town anyways, it, it's pretty much served its purpose. Something still feels horribly off. Maybe they, uh, maybe they actually had the weight slow you down? Is that a thing? Am I am I crazy? Have I just never noticed this before? I'm probably pretty heavy right now. In fact, I guarantee you I'm pretty heavy, so I've just I've never noticed the truck going this slow when it's this loaded down. Almost makes me want to have another slab of concrete in there. All right, there's our lumber that we will need. So let's, I guess, take a wide turn. Don't really have a choice. Just because, well, this has the turning radius of a whale. Uh, of course you, of course you did. Well, you know what? That truck's good now. It's fine where it's at. Let's get the concrete blocks off this truck. Oh, 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 let's go in reverse. Yeah, that wasn't us, was it? Was that us? I don't think that was us. And, uh, that also was not us. Alright, so that is... That part taken care of. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> Ugh, these, these glitches. What is going Is it me or is this truck? Okay, that was weird. Was it me or did that truck look like it had was sunk halfway through the ground? Anywho. Boom. Ah. Uh, about time that job is done. Okay, so that took about uh, probably about 30 minutes longer than it should have. Probably 40 minutes longer than it should have. Alright, so let's start on the next job, which I believe is out of town. Uh, on top of the world. We need to bring all this stuff to... Mountain River.
grilling site. Is that where... Oh, first of all. Go ahead and activate that. I'm guessing... That's what I want. Um, log station. Obviously, that's where the fuel is. The aerodome. That's where the consumables are. All right. Well, you know what? Technically, we need four of them. But I don't think we need to get those yet. Those are pretty close. Um, so let's go grab... Where are they? They're back this way. Let's go get our two consumables. Good old Fleet Star here. Um, I think this is the road. Yeah, we're going to make this a shortcut. Come on, there you go. Consumables. Boom, we got our two consumables. We will have we will have one little issue. <laughs> um, two consumables. Well, we're, we're going to make that gate wider. Come on, that gear. Oh, there we go. Two consumables, four fuels. That's a lot of fuel. It only gives us one room for one wooden plank. So. Uh, we have to. Well, it really doesn't matter, so... Let's put... Let's change the truck. Uh, first of all, we're going to unpack the cargo. And we're going to change the truck again. Go into crane mode. Oops. I know I unpacked that. Stop it. Really? Change trucks. Hey, don't know why, uh... What is it, frozen to it? Come on. They release a new game and this game... ...goes to crap? Like, I don't know what's going on here, but... Apparently my concrete is frozen to the bed truck. Um, let's go into crane mode. Okay. And 
drive this forward. Drop that in there. This is really just becoming harder. Um, we are going to... Oh, we can't do that, can we? Oh, that's not fun. <laughs> scout fuel carrier. Of course there's a scout fuel carrier. You know what, guys? I'm going to be back after I get this log or log after we get this concrete. I got to go pick up a trailer. Um, there we go. Crane mode. That's what I want. Okay. And then now we can drive forward. Release the crane there. We're gonna restore the crane. We're gonna go get a little trailer. Um, I may need to get a big trailer. Because I don't think I can haul a trailer with this truck. That overhang is a lot. It should be okay. I don't recall if I can or can't. Guess we'll find out. Hey, I can. Good. I mean, it rubs a little bit, but he had to get this crane or this uh, this trailer just for one fuel. This is a this is a heck of an expedition I've got going on right here. Good news is is that. Um, We're about to go buy a gas station. Um, so, change trucks. Let's let's go do this first. First of all, we gotta get this done. Let's go sell this trailer because we don't need it. We're just gonna go completely off roading. Come on, get out of the ditch. Thank you. Nope, don't you go into another ditch. Oh boy. <laughs> Is it me or did they nerf this um, turning circle too? Is there an update to this game that I'm, I don't know about? Oops. A little too soon. Always down at the bottom. I wish they could just change it so that the one you have attached to your truck is the one. Is 
is the one that's um, at the top. The very first one. Alright, so we've repaired this truck because it is and was in dire need. Uh, I feel like the turning radius is a little better now. Strange. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good thing that uh, trailer was there. All right. Nope, let's back up. Attach the trailer. Unpack pack. Okay, I promise we're almost ready to hit the road. We've got our train and we are good to go. Pretty talented uh, street sign there. Speed limit sign. How many rotations did it do? Leave your answers in the comments. We're gonna actually get to see if anyone paying attention to the commentary in this uh, playthrough. <laughs> I know you do. You guys do listen. It's good. I like it. It's nice. All right, so. We've got to get two consumables, two planks. Um, I have two bags of concrete on here too. That's why. There we go. Let's put our one fuel there. We're going to detach the train. Maybe I should have grabbed a flatbed for it. Thank you. That's that's amazing. That truck was almost out of fuel. And yeah, we need We need our, um... I don't know where the best spot is to put this. I'm gonna guess... in the trailer. Let's hope that stays. We are going to have to be gentle with it. Although, you know what? 
I go into crane mode, if I drag this over here and I pin it down, um, detach the cargo. Use the weight of the crane. <clears throat> the whole the help hold that steady. So let's change trucks. Rotate. Let's start the engine. Let's attach the winch. And let's go. We're gonna go nice and slow. Easy does it. I think I think we finally got it. I used six gallons of gas sitting there. Holy crap. Did I leave the engine running? I must have left it running. All right, well, <clears throat> we're going nowhere fast today, but we do have an epic train going on. If you think about it, we actually have 10 items. This may be the most I've ever pulled in one go. Actually, we would have more. Oh no, we would, we would still be stuck with 10. It would be better. Ideally, I should have put a flatbed on the uh, Fleet Star. That would have been the way to do it. But I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking, I didn't think I needed this much cargo in one haul. But we do have two extra bags of concrete. So that is playing into the uh, the factor there. We're drowning ourselves in 6.2 gallons a minute. That's a lot. That's not a lot of minutes for us to drive. Like I'm not even getting out of third. Fourth, yeah, I can't get out of third gear. And the truck behind me is on. That's how heavy we are. How are we this heavy? That's that's just craziness. Oh, we got into fourth. Now we're back into third. Let's turn on some lights. That should help us see better. No! I barely touched that guardrail. Uh, sometimes the damage in this game just... It ain't right. Ooh, can we make it up this hill? We still got our fuel. We are all the way down in second gear. Oh. There we go. There's first gear. Oh, that's a steep hill. 
throw it in low plus just for um, the sake of making it up the hill. Look at us just chewing through this fuel. You know what the worst part is is six gallons a minute there versus two gallons a minute there we're not going much slower I'm gonna leave it in low plus <clears throat> just so that we uh, hopefully have enough fuel to make it where we're going although now we're using four the five gallons get up this hill. Wide turns. And um, I'm going to detach before we travel. Last thing I want that doing is uh, freaking out. Alright, so where do we need to go? Oh, we need to go there. Perfect. Um, is it that road? Nope, we gotta go... Left. Let's turn our lights on, first of all. Person view really laggy. I don't know why my computer's so laggy today. All right, yep, it's at the end of this road. Oh look, and it's a trailer store. That's everything off of that truck. Go ahead and try to get it out of the way. It's a good spot for it. Oops. Let's go to global map. Let's go to mountain. Uh, yeah, Pedro Bay, wasn't it? Is that where we were? Yeah, that's where we were. Um, no, it wasn't. White Valley's where we were. <laughs> There's not the dairy, the fleet star. Fire this guy up. Oh, pull on a wheelie. Pretty impressive truck. All right, let's travel back to Mountain River. Now, hopefully, okay. Everything's still there. The only thing we're gonna have to do is pack the uh, that fuel cargo. Did I go down a hill like that? I guess I did, didn't I? Yep. Did I go down this hill and then I go? Right here, right, right here, right.
close. Sorry, if we tipped, we would have been fine. Consumables are done, fuel's done. And all we have to do is go in and pack cargo. And then it's done. Yay! Hey, I don't know why I'm so excited for that, but um yeah. That's that's that. So we can uh restore our crane. Let's uh let's look and see what the next mission is before we uh start selling stuff. Uh Valley vill village valley. Village valley. So we need two concrete which we have. We're way over here. Actually, you know what? That's pretty cool. I'm going to leave this truck here. Stop the engine. We're going to... First of all, let's um, advance to the afternoon for some reason. So let's change truck. And I'm going to steal the fuel out of this guy. Only because he is right next to a trailer store. So if we do need this truck, we can refuel it. Oops. Once again, I forgot to activate this. Where are we? We are here. We have to come back here. But we have to go to the service hub. So, it's a pretty easy path once we get turned around. Once we get turned around. In this truck, that's a lot harder than uh, than it should be. Should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Actually, that was pretty easy. I don't know why I was thinking that was hard. Yeah, look, now we're moving. So I really do think they. Uh, if they didn't just do it, they must have added weight uh, to... Oh, there's fuel. Uh, I wish I knew there was a fuel station there. I guess I should have looked. But yeah, they must have added weight. Um, like the more weight you have, the slower you go kind of thing. That, that whole system. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming, yep, I go right. We want to be careful in here because we don't want to go sliding off the road. And I think there's a repair point in here, isn't there? Or is that just me? Maybe it's just me. So we need consumables. Ah, there's a repair trailer, which... You know what? I don't use repair trailers because they're they're dumb. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think they're dumb. You can't target them unless you're attached to them. That is why they're dumb. And that is why I don't use them. Because 90% of the time, I have cargo already hooked up. Um, so, real quick. We have to go back the way we came? Yeah, pretty much.
So the good news is we'll have a fuel stop. We'll, we'll pick that up before we uh, try to continue on. This is where my Chevy is. Aww. I haven't seen my Chevy in, seems like, years. Feels like years. It's probably been, what, a week? <laughs> Two episodes? Three episodes, maybe? I guess we have 40 gallons, I mean. Might as well fill up. thing I can think of is the uh, graph the, the driver to my graphics card was updated and now it's laggy as heck and there's a lot of flickering and there's a lot of textures that are off so like is it even worth updating your driver like next time I get a decent driver but I don't have to worry about um, the game going off Ooh, that's a tight turn. We're gonna use the concrete pole to help us. Oh, that was close. That was a little too close. Yeah, like the, the pace of this game is so much faster than Expeditions. It's kind of insane. Oops. And yes. It's always good to check to make sure you're going the right direction because, well, I've done it before and I'll do it again where I think I know where I'm going and then, uh, yeah, it turns out I have no clue where the heck I'm going, so. Alright, so what do we have? We have a drop-off point in the middle of nowhere and we're done. Boom. Another mission completed just in time because we are, well, we're running out of time. So, uh, we got $3,500. We got 460 points, which probably really doesn't matter anymore. And, uh, yeah. Look at us go. Let's stop this, uh, let's stop the engine to save some gas. And, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. Let's take a uh, quick peek. Next one is timber, so that's a no. This is also timber, so that's also a no. So we are heading into Morris Mining. We're going to be doing the Deliver to the Service Hub, Pedro Bay, Concrete Blocks and Consumables. All right, there's Pedro Bay. There's our consumables. We will have to figure out where our concrete blocks are. Uh, Pedro, I'm assuming we'll find them in Pedro Bay. Yeah, that seems that seems doable. We can cut down, come over here, we'll pick them up, and then we'll swing back. 
Uh, we don't have, we have a trailer stored there, so we might have to get fuel. We do have fuel there, but that kind of defeats the purpose, and this route isn't blocked. So, anyways, I'm rambling on. I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching this episode. If you liked it, leave a comment. Hit the like button. If you didn't, leave a comment and give me a thumbs down. Nobody's actually told me why they gave me thumbs down. That's the crazy thing. I've gotten a couple. I've had quite a bit, actually. Um, I'd say maybe a dozen. <laughs> Out of 80, 90 videos, I don't even know what number I'm on anymore. Uh, but anyways, if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll try to do a little better. And uh, yeah, so we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.